In a vascular plant, the steel is the central part of the root or stem containing the tissues derived from the procambium. These include vascular tissue, in some cases ground tissue and a pericycle, which, if present, defines the outermost boundary of the steel. Outside the steel lies the endodermis, which is the innermost cell layer of the cortex. The concept of the steel was developed in the late 19th century by French botanists P. E. L. Van Tienem and H. Dilshan as a model for understanding the relationship between the shoot and root, and for discussing the evolution of vascular plant morphology. Now, at the beginning of the 21st century, plant molecular biologists are coming to understand the genetics and developmental pathways that govern tissue patterns in the steel. Protosteel The earliest vascular plants had stems with a central core of vascular tissue. This consisted of a cylindrical strand of xylem, surrounded by a region of phloem. Around the vascular tissue there might have been an endodermis that regulated the flow of water into and out of the vascular system. Such an arrangement is termed a protosteel. There are three basic types of protosteel, haplosteel a euro consisting of a cylindrical core of xylem surrounded by a ring of phloem. An endodermis generally surrounds the steel. A centrarch haplosteel is prevalent in members of the rhinophyte grade, such as rhinia. Actinosteel a euro a variation of the protosteel in which the core is lobed or fluted. This steel is found in many species of club moss. Actinosteels are typically exic and consist of several to many patches of protoxylum at the tips of the lobes of the metoxylum. Exic protosteels are a defining characteristic of the lycophyte lineage. Pilctosteel a euro a protosteel in which plate-like regions of xylem appear in transverse sections surrounded by phloem tissue. In fact, these discrete plates are interconnected in longitudinal section. Some modern club mosses have plectosteels in their stems. The pilctosteel may be derived from the actinosteel. Siphonosteel Siphonosteels have a region of ground tissue called the pith internal to xylem. The vascular strand comprises a cylinder surrounding the pith. Siphonosteels often have interruptions in the vascular strand where leaves originate. Siphonostals can be ectofloic or they can be amphifloic with phloem both external and internal to the xylem. Among living plants, many ferns and some asteroid flowering plants have an amphifloic steel. An amphifloic siphonostal can be called a solnostal if the cylinder of vascular tissue contains no more than one leaf gap in any transverse section. This type of steel is primarily found in fern stems today. Dictyostal if multiple gaps in the vascular cylinder exist in any one transverse section. The numerous leaf gaps and leaf traces give a dictyostel the appearance of many isolated islands of xylem surrounded by phloem. Each of the apparently isolated units of a dictyostel can be called a meristel. Among living plants, this type of steel is found only in the stems of ferns. Most seed plant stems possess a vascular arrangement which has been interpreted as a derived siphonosteel, and is called a eustel. In this arrangement, the primary vascular tissue consists of vascular bundles, usually in one or two rings around the pith. In addition to being found in stems, the eustel appears in the roots of monocot flowering plants. The vascular bundles in a eustel can be collateral or bicolateral. There is also a variant on the eustel found in monocots like maize and rye. The variation has numerous scattered bundles in the stem and is called an atactosteel. However, it is really just a variant of the eustel. See also, vascular tissue, vascular bundle. Citations References